Hi, thanks for tuning into this video where I'm going to be discussing quick links for 11 speed chains and for 10 speed chains. And I'm hoping that this video addresses some of the questions that I had recently when I upgraded my drivetrain from a 10 speed drivetrain to an 11 speed drivetrain on my bike. So one situation that I encountered when I was upgrading was that when I went to put the 11 speed chain on my bike, um, every time previously when I, when I put a chain on my bike, I always put one of these quick links. And in, in the past, what I have used, uh, this probably isn't gonna show up in the video, but in the past what I've used are these um, KMC, I think they refer to them as the missing link. KMC missing link, and I, and I always get the, um, the type of missing link that you can attach and detach with just your hands. You don't, it doesn't require a special tool or anything. And uh, that makes it extremely convenient for taking your chain off and cleaning or um, any, any other maintenance you want to do with your bike. You don't need to have a, uh, a chain tool or anything like that. <clears throat> so it's extremely convenient. So naturally, when I upgraded to an 11 speed chain, I wanted to also use a missing link. And I was surprised that when I went to try and find a KMC missing link for an 11 speed chain, they did offer one, but it was it was the type that they refer to as non-reusable. In other words, it, it does require a special tool to um, to disconnect it uh, or to undo it if you want to uh, break the chain. I did not want something that required a tool. Um, so the question that I asked myself at that time is: Can I use my 10-speed missing link on an 11-speed chain? And the short answer is I did use it uh, without any performance uh, degradation that I noticed at all. It was extremely smooth. I used it for uh, approximately a week, week and a half on my, uh, on my 11 speed uh, bike, all Shimano drivetrain components. Um, I was expecting there perhaps to be a little bit of um, sound or chattering as the uh, 10 speed link went through the 11 speed cassette but I didn't hear anything. It was just as smooth as can be. So the short answer is um, it, it worked fine. <clears throat> um, but to sort of quantify that answer better, I thought um, maybe we could take some measurements and, and see what the real differences are. If I take this 11 speed chain and I put this 10 speed missing link on it, um, the first thing that I notice physically is, it, is that missing link feels thicker in my hands than the rest of the links. And we can actually measure that thickness difference here. The, the proper uh, 11 speed length has a width of uh, 0.222 inches. Zero, so 222 thousandths of an inch. And if I measure the KMC missing link, it's, going, its width is going to be thicker. It has a width of 0 0.2, we'll call it 40, so 240 thousandths of an inch. So it's approximately 20 thousandths of an inch thicker than the rest of the links. Now, um, again, I didn't notice this thickness as being a problem when it went through my cassette. I didn't hear any, any problems associated with that. <clears throat> the, one is, what, the one thing where there may be an issue is, is what I noticed is that this missing link um, slides to the open position um, really easily without any effort at all when it's on this 11 speed chain. And that's because um, the, of its narrow width. Um, a thicker 10 speed chain presses outward on these links so they don't um, open up so easily. And I can show you here by putting them on a, uh, um, on a 10 speed chain. So here I have a 10 speed chain and uh, I just put the missing link on there. Let's take a few measurements. The 10 speed chain um, link width is about um, two, 0.230 inches. So it's about 10 thousandths of an inch thicker than the 11 speed chain, which means it's only 10 thousandths of an inch 
uh, thinner than the missing link. Instead of being 20 thousandths of an inch thinner, it's only 10 thousandths of an inch thinner. And that is enough um, to make the difference so that this missing KMC missing link doesn't just pop open so easily. Now I can force it open um, with a little bit of finger pressure. which is what you want to be able to do with this device. But as far as coming open so easily like that, I don't think that's what KMC intended. And that's probably why they um, haven't started, or probably why they don't recommend using this link um, on an 11-speed chain, but probably for liability reasons. They don't want somebody to be riding down the road and hit a bump and the chain tension comes loose and then out pops one of these links and somebody wrecks. Um, <clears throat> just for comparison purposes, I want to show you the, um, the proper 11-speed link. This is a Whipperman. Um, I believe Whipperman refers to this as the Connex link. And this Whipperman Connex link is for 11-speed chains. Um, and it, you are able to um, attach and detach this link without the use of any tools. So if I put it on this 11-speed chain here, you'll see it goes together um, quite easily. And if I measure the width, uh, it's about 0 0.232 thousandths, uh, or 0 0.232 inches, or 232 thousandths of an inch. So it's about 12 thousandths of an inch wider than the 11 speed uh, chain. Um, and it's about eight thousandths of an inch smaller than the uh, 10 speed link. So it is um, a better fit width wise. And I've been using this um, link obviously since I received it um, in the mail and I, and I replaced the, uh, the 10 speed link. Um, I have no, had no issues with it. But it is interesting to note that it, it does slide to the open position just as easily as the 10 speed uh, link did. So maybe Whipperman feels a little bit more comfortable with this kind of a liability um, potential hazard. Um, but either way, my personal experience has been that um, if you're in a bind, I feel perfectly comfortable using a 10 speed link, uh, missing link on an 11 speed drivetrain. I'm sure the manufacturers wouldn't recommend that, uh, but uh, um, I've done it and uh, it seems like it works just fine. Thanks for tuning in.